Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk about this conversation that was going on in the comment section of my previous video. It was about this topic that was brought up that really got me thinking uh, pretty much about uh, does a good manga series save a bad anime series? Like say for example if you have a really great manga series but it has a terrible anime adaptation, does the uh, the great manga series justify watching and justify enjoying and hyping up and everything the anime series which is actually pretty bad now this is something that really got me thinking because I never really sat back and thought about how I feel about it like if I watch a bad anime series that has a good manga to it how likely am I going to be to go ahead and read that manga? Like, the way that I feel about this is probably going to be a little bit different than the way that you would expect me to feel about it, because if I watch an anime series, and I know it has a manga counterpart to it, and the anime series doesn't catch me, and I know I get lots of feedback from a lot of people, you gotta read the manga instead, the anime really isn't that great, you really gotta read the manga because it's so much better, but... Uh, there's just something that's turned off. Uh, first of all, I'm watching the anime series, and that's when you got to get me right there, because I'm a huge anime fan, obviously, and I enjoy anime. Like I enjoy the process of watching anime a little bit more than manga. I love manga because manga has a superior story, but if that was adapted perfectly, like a 100% uh, accurate translation of the manga, then of course every single time I would want to watch the anime series to adjust because it's animated, it's probably going to look a whole lot better, plus you get the voice acting to it too, so if it was like exactly the same as the manga, I'm, I would want to go ahead and watch the anime, so I would have to say that I do like anime a bit more than manga, but uh, one thing that I think that people really can't use as an excuse is that it's not really that bad of a series, the manga is that much better, just because 90% of the time, like 90% of everything back here behind me, the manga is better for 90% of it. And these are actually good series back here, like say for example, Berserk. A lot of people uh, give some slack to Berserk anime series, I don't really understand why. It has some pacing issues to me, because it does get really slow in the middle. Also with uh, Shigui Death frenzy. Now this is another one and they're pretty much in the same boat with that because uh, they have pretty slow pacing and it kind of just leaves you at this cliffhanger and it's not really the complete series but these are actually two good anime series. Could they be better? Yeah, but these are two series that really get me into reading the manga to it and I love the manga to both of these series and I uh, got into it because I love the anime to it so much but then you have series like uh, Tokyo Ghoul which I uh, gave it like a seven or a seven and a half my review but that was more of a uh, an objective uh, rating to it if I were to give my subjective rating like how I personally felt my overall experience then it would have been slightly lower I really didn't get into that so much, and people are saying that the manga to it is so much better, but I just don't have the time to put into a series that I don't think that I would really get into that much, especially when, like, I just got in Monster, the omnibus of that, I just, uh... I've been reading some Vinland Saga, some Gundam Origins, some uh, plenty of different manga series, plus I've been reading books and I've got lots of anime lined up to watch. I am, my schedule of things to watch and things to read are so packed that uh, personally, if I saw an anime series that I didn't really care for, it would really uh, lessen the chance of me reading the manga to them. I think they have to put more thought to making these anime series because obviously the people are who are making these are trying to make money, but then they rush out the story that's got so much filler to it and it's got uh, it just rushes and skips over so many important things. Uh, just to name a few, like Dead Man Wonderland, which the anime to it was uh, pretty good. It had some good moments, but it did have a lot of uh, slower pace moments that I didn't really care for with the anime. That's why I never got into reading the manga to it. And then we also have like Tokyo Ghoul. There are plenty of different anime series out there which uh, people say the manga to it is so much better but I just never got into it just because of the my initial impression of the series. And that's the way that a lot of people are going to feel about this because the anime is the first impression. They should actually make a better translation of this or maybe they should wait a little bit longer and create a product that is worthy of getting people to go and buy the manga series or uh, go and buy subscriptions to the magazine that the manga is running in. So overall I just don't think that something having a great 
great manga is justification for hyping up the anime and just blowing the anime out of proportion just because that's got to be on its own. The anime has to be as enjoyable as is the manga is for the parts that's portrayed in the anime. I know they're not going to show every single little bit in the anime. Usually it's like half the series or they've got some sort of filler end to it or just some sort of cliffhanger or something like that. But the parts that are portrayed should equally represent the parts that are in the manga in my opinion. And I really think they should do something about that. In my opinion, that excuse of having the manga being so much better doesn't really work for anime series that just aren't that good. Like, whenever I'm talking about certain series to people, say, for example, Ruoni Kenshin, Rosario Vampire, Akira. Now, these are series that the anime really changed a lot of things to. We have Ruoni Kenshin, which everybody, plenty of people have seen this, but it does suffer some pacing issues. The third season knocked out some of the best bits from the manga, and they put in all filler. The first season has some filler to it, and it's got some pacing issues to it. So, there are some problems with the uh, anime of Ruoni Kenshin, and I stress people to read the manga because it's so much better, but a lot of people are like, you know what, I don't know, because of the way that I feel about it, and uh, Rotten Kenshin is actually a pretty good anime series. Rosario Vampire. Now, Rosario Vampire, the anime, they pretty much made a mockery of the manga because the manga is actually taken seriously. It's actually a lot more serious. It's got a lot of great fights to it because Skune, the main character, is such a wimp in the anime series, but he's actually a badass in the manga series. But the anime is pretty much just fan service, and I like the anime series. I think it's funny, it's enjoyable to watch, but it's not nearly as good as the manga series is, and I tell people to read the manga to it, and people don't really do that, but it's still got a good anime to it. And then we have Akira, which has a great movie to it. It's a really great movie, and it's something that changed the uh, the future of anime, practically, especially here in the United States, because when it came out, it was such a, a big boom around the world, especially here in the United States. But then the manga to that is well, probably like 20, 30 times better, just because there's so much more crammed into it. And I keep telling people, read the manga to Akira, and they're like, ah, I don't know. You know, the movie's good and all, but I think I'll just stick with that. So, if these instances don't work for people that already like those series, for series that are actually good, I don't really expect it to be a viable option for series that are just mediocre or series that really aren't that good. So, people, uh, whoever's making these anime series, they really gotta step their game up. But I wanna know what you think. Let me know in the comments section below how you feel about this. If you watch an anime series and it's bad, but everyone tells you that the manga to it is so much better, are you hesitant to get into the manga series or do you go and read it? Or do you just put it down and go watch something else? Because the way I feel about it, there are so many great anime series out there, so many great manga series that you know are going to be great that you just haven't got around to watching that I think it's pretty much a gamble even though I know I should give series like that a chance just because it's the rational thing to do just because I like to keep an open mind to everything but there's just so much that I think it eats up all my time anyways let me know about your feelings about this topic in the comments section below thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe comment like and also share with your friends thank you for watching I'll see you later